going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Ben aka Roadrunner and in today's video I'm gonna be talking about five reasons why I actually hate the car I just purchased is 2019 Z06 Corvette now to be honest the good outweigh the bad but there are some bad about this car that I feel I wanted to make a video about and highlight so stay tuned All right guys, for the first reason, um, it's actually pretty noticeable. First reason why I don't like this car is the, ha the door handles. Uh, very annoying, but it looked nice, but there's an electronic button that's behind here that you press. Um, and there's also a button here that opens the door and unlocks it. So the reason why I don't like that is if your power goes off in the car, um, it becomes a little bit more challenging. You have to reach behind or underneath the seat that, to open it up. And then furthermore, um, is this something that's very annoying? I just wish they had a door handle a lot easier than needing to complicate something that doesn't need to be complicated. A lot of people who are trying to get in a lot of times don't know how to open a door, so then you have to explain it to them. And sometimes that sounds cool, but more times than not, it really isn't. And the second reason why I don't really like this car is the fact that there's no handbrake. Um, as you can see, it's uh, all manual, no handbrake. Now the handbrake isn't necessarily like a deal breaker for me. Obviously I bought the car, but I grew up on sports cars with handbrakes. It makes it uh, a lot more fun when you're doing track driving and are doing something that really maybe you might not should be doing. But um, anyways, it's just a lot more fun to have with the car with electronic brake. It is more practical. Um, you can go on hills and stuff and you know there's this kind of timing where it, it stopped for like like I don't know like a, under a minute where you won't roll back um, so that's a lot more convenient and then there's also the ability to just go right from park into drive without having to take it out of the parking brake mode so that's pretty cool it just makes it a little bit more practical to drive but still I miss the handbrake I really do miss that handbrake Alright guys, now driving the Z06. Ooh, love that exhaust, that's one thing I love. But for the third reason of why I don't like this car, it has to be because of the cabin noise and the comfortability of driving the car. Um, this is a sports car, you get what you buy. Um, this isn't a car I would feel comfortable driving long term, long term in, even though I have and I probably will in the future. Um, this isn't a grand touring car, you know. It's, very high in cabin noise in regards to because this top comes off. Um, if you're not familiar, there's three straps here on the, the Corvette C7 styles that you can just be able to pop this off and put them in the trunk. Uh, but because even when it's on, there's a lot of wind seepage that kind of comes through and it gets very loud in here. Uh, very loud, not very comfortable. The shocks are very stiff, so you get a lot of bouncing around. You feel the road very much. I love it, especially when you're driving sport uh, or when you're driving on the track or you're, you know, you're driving aggressively. But like when you're just trying to drive for a long period of time, this car might not be the most perfect car for that. And that's one of the reasons why, you know, I don't like the car. For the fourth reason I don't like the car, it has to be because of how low it is. Now, this is kind of bittersweet for me because I do actually like the fact that it's slow, but because it's slow, it makes you have to pay attention to a lot more details of driving. If you're a person that just normally powers over potholes and drives over, um, you know, incl high incline and decline roads, this car you, you're gonna have to pay attention to because you're gonna be not only scraping a lot more, but you can really damage this car driving over the wrong terrain or over the wrong potholes or even, you know, driving up to a parking block um, that's you know a little bit too high uh, you could completely uh, crack the front uh, bumper cover um, so it's just more of one of those caveats that comes with driving of this type of car or a low car in general what I like it is because I know that in the future I'm probably gonna be driving more low cars and maybe even exotics one day so it's just kind of a precursor to get me used to that style but for the average person I would tell you that they would definitely be annoyed at that and for the fifth and final reason of why I don't like this car, it has to be because of the seventh gear. 
Now I have a, a seven speed manual transmission and the seventh gear makes no sense to me. I just don't understand why I have it. I don't get why it's there. Even at like a hundred going in six gear, it's totally fine. You're doing, you know, maybe two, 3000 on the RPM scale. But overall, I, I don't get it. I don't like it. I prefer a six speed, but you know, I guess my kind of workaround is just stay in the six gears. I, I don't ever go to seventh, so it's like, it's whatever, but it's just, it's just weird. And ironically, the gears are pretty long. They're not short, which I thought they were by if they, when they added the seventh gear. Um, they can be short, but for the most part, you know, you can really push it. First and get you up to 60. Second can get you up to 100. Third can get you up past that. So it's just, it's surprisingly how long these gears are, um, especially with the seventh gear. So. Yeah, that's it. That's it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to do another quick video. I'm going to be producing a video every single week, so I wanted to at least get something out for you. Five things that I don't like about this. I appreciate you watching this video. And to kind of summary all of it up, of course, the bad is not outweighed by the good. There's more good in this car than anything else. And that's the reason why I bought it. That's the reason why I drive it. That's the reason why I love it. Um, the caveats and the little minor details and things that I hate about it are things that can really annoy certain people. But for me, it's something that I adore so I can live with it. But yeah, please, if you like the video, subscribe, comment below. If you like me, hate me, whatever. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all have a blessed, blessed day. Yeah.